wanted to show my second version of my MIDI pedal, as well as just an overview of um, how I'm running my pedal setup. Have enough, I've had enough people ask about this that I figured I'd show. So this is my, my version 2 pedal. Um, my version 1 I made by hand, and this one is vastly improved. So uh, the functionality isn't all that different. Um, but let me show you what I did with this pedal. Um, I had these parts laser cut from uh, an online vendor. So I designed it up in Illustrator and then sent it off to them and they laser cut it. So looking at a actually a three layer system here, I've got bamboo on the bottom and the top. And then because it looks cool, acrylic in the middle. Um, and then the, the numbers are cut out of the bamboo but not out of the acrylic so that that's a solid surface. Um, a couple things. Uh, first I'll show you the full functionality and then what's different about this versus my version 1 pedal. So I wanted something that fit the geometry of my um, HD500 with the button spacing and the width. I know that there are other products out there like the Looptimus or whatever but honestly they're like this weird rectangle shape um, that doesn't really fit with what my board needs. So um, I measured the distances on the HD500 and uh, drew this up in Google SketchUp and then pieced it all together. Um, internally it's running off of a, uh, an Arduino and the connection to the laptop is just USB. Now I'm running Ableton Live but you can run other uh, digital audio workstations as well. Since in worship we really only do, um, it's not like we're doing 12 songs, we typically do anywhere from three to six songs. Um, I really primarily needed you know, a bank of six songs on the bottom. I didn't want to have to go leafing through multiple pages to get to stuff. So the layout that I set up was songs one through six. I have a, a play button and a stop button. Um, so the basically, and then I put an LCD readout right here. And the LCD readout, it's a little hard to, to read right now, it just says stop. The LCD readout I've programmed, um, I programmed to work uh, so that I can change the titles using the Arduino code. It's, it's really not hard to do. Um, you don't have to know coding to do that either, you just replace the text. So I have song one. Song two, three, four, five, six, play, and stop. And then I've got seven, eight, and nine. Um, now, some things that are different about this from my version one pedal is on the version one pedal, while I had feedback on the LCD display, I needed a quick indicator of what song was currently being played. So. I um, added in LEDs underneath each pedal and of course I had to change that code in um, Arduino. So um, you know that gives me that feedback. The other really cool thing uh, that I love about this version 2 pedal is the, the, the Arduino not only includes a MIDI out but it also has a MIDI receive function. In Ableton and there's many others that do this as well will give back what the beat per minute is off of the software back to or out to any MIDI device. Now that can be useful with um, that can be useful with like delays and such to synchronize it. But for me what's really helpful is um, is my beat per minute light. So that when I'm playing with the team and, and it just get and we get off or something like that and I can't quite tell where the beat is that visual indicator has saved my hide. I thought that was just going to be kind of a fun little afterthought, but it is now a critical part of what uh, this pedal does for me. So um, right now, track one is playing, but it's just a click, so you can't hear it because it's not coming through the house. Uh, I'll go ahead and you don't have to typically press fire, stop, but this is just kind of from scratch here. So you press the, the track that you want to play, and that's just... That's just, um, I put little indicators on, you know, the different spots on the timeline there. I can move those wherever. And now this is going to play uh, Forever Rain.
and it's giving my my click right right away and then we'll start into it um, and then you can go on to song number three which is how he loves again uh, it's it's telling me on this if I press that it's gonna tell me how he loves right there um, right now I also have it hit, displaying play if I hit play as well I could change that if I needed to and then oceans by Shane and Shane is that last version so that's the functionality of the that's the functionality of the pedal um, I'm really really happy with it if I were to do anything differently uh, I would put rather than the LED indicator shining behind the letter as cool as that looks it's not quite as vibrant as I'd like because again, I'm not looking at this directly, I'm seeing it out of the corner of my eye. So what I would do is I would embed it through the bamboo right there, like pr probably off to the side. Um, that's probably what I would do. Those are really easy to install that way. This was actually troublesome for me because the acrylic was clear. So I put a piece of like scotch tape just to give it a translucence so that it will still um, catch the light and, and shine it through. Um, I use a blue light here and then like a purple light so you can barely see that one. It's just not as bright as it should be. Uh, so that's the only thing I would do differently. Other than that, this pedal has been rock solid. It has never failed me once um, and, and I love it. I do have my version 1 pedal still and as of February 2016 it's available if anyone's interested. Just uh, send me a private message and I will sell it to you. Um, great pedal, still works, but I just got geeky and upgraded. so. If anyone's interested, I hope that helps. God bless.